Hi, welcome back to the channel, Train Station 2. Alright, happy to claim that uh, Warata Series 2 and of course 100% complete. Um, for me, I find there's actually no difference uh, in terms of 100% complete. It doesn't add on another job for you. But um, the only difference is that your job gets slightly harder. If you're aware that uh, at the third round of the uh, customer's request, uh, quantities are standing around 1,000. Uh, but once you complete 100% and I saw my new job is about 1,100 to 200 so that's additional premium uh, added about 10% to 20% uh, once you have done 100% complete. So in my opinion, uh, if you could hold back your 100% complete to the last moment um, by claiming that 100 EP actually doesn't do you any good. Is only just adding to your EP. So just hold it back uh, towards the end of the competition at the last moment that will add as an additional boost to your total EPs and of course your ranking. Uh, for me I'm just trying to claim and uh, show you uh, what's it about uh, so that you are making a better option on your end. Uh, for me I'm not really um, very hopeful uh, in this uh, last competition and I'm really not very concerned because I'm not playing that much uh, in the last competition already instead um, actually I'm holding back because I really want to defer my uh, region transfer or promotion you call it all right so um, I still got about 11 uh, levels or so uh, before we move on to region 7 uh, so far, um, that's all I could do in this region. Uh, progression has not been as fast as expected, and so there's no way we can apply the elect, uh, ETO, <laughs> we should call it the uh, event uh, train only uh, tactic to test it out. Probably, I'll do it probably in the next while. But uh, as of now, you can see um, not really good uh, at this juncture uh, because of a few um, thoughts uh, first. Uh, of course, is the lack of playing. Um, how do you actually uh, get into good ranking? I think active playing is really important, be it day and night or even midnight at times. You've got to keep on playing. So this game is quite draining in energy. So um, that's, that's how you can win. But of course, that's only one point. Applying the late uh, strategy and the 99% strategy uh, works for this event but I gotta caution you 99% strategy may not work in any other event so you gotta test it out to see how you work out and simply put it this way for those events that force you to complete 100% it will have very uh, small uh, ceiling to the job like over slash 5 whereas you can see all these jobs are slash 25 so that's one indication of course um, you gotta monitor and see how it work out uh, for me I'm aware as I mentioned in my earlier videos for this event 99% works for this this uh, event itself alright so 99% strategy is just trying to defer the additional premium added uh, to the quantity that is delivered so you have an added advantage over the rest who have completed 100% and as for the late strategy, um, late strategy is about starting late. Um, how late you're going to monitor yourself in terms of wherever you've been always uh, teamed together and what's your starting point and the start of a competition. So for me, I know somewhere between 8 to 10 hours sometimes is better, sometimes it's 10 to 12 hours late. Uh, of course, you can try other times at your convenience in your own time zone. For me, the most convenient about this two time zone. Uh, sometimes didn't really fare too well. Like this round, uh, the competition I did about, uh, I think, uh, starting off, I think 10 over positions, I can't recall. But gradually, um, because of my uh, inventory, uh, as well as the head start I have, I managed to propel upwards. So um, it's also about luck sometimes, uh, the people you will be with, you can see here, these are really strong people, then it just means that you're having a very strong competitor. And of course at the same time, um, that's just one factor in looking in terms of competitors. You know sometimes competitors may be weak in terms of the headquarter points, but they're doing really well in the, especially the last few competitions. That's because they have not been actively playing the game and at the last competition they just try to unlock and go for it and you know what sometimes um, while we are at the round three of customers request they could be just at round one so just imagine that at round one it's so much easier so that's it uh, because they are round one it's unlikely they have complete 100% as well so they got the win-win in terms of low quantities and no additional premium added uh, because you are below 100% complete so if you're fighting with such people in a competition, there's no way you'll win them. Of course, there's another group, um, people who don't mind actually spending uh, money to buy gems and splurge on gems, spending in the last competition. 
I don't know whether they are after the icon, <laughs> but for me, it doesn't really happen to, uh, to claim the icon, it doesn't really work for me. I'm always sticking with Santa Claus, so it doesn't really bother me in terms of the icon profile, the face itself. Of course, uh, people who care, they may just go for it. And uh, you know what? Uh, there'll be another group who's really good at gaining uh, gems for uh, Android players. Uh, for them, they may be splurging as well. So if you're grouped together uh, with these people, it's really unlucky. Uh, you won't be able to win much. So late, late players, inactive players, um, people who spend gems in the same group, unlikely you'll win. So sometimes it's really important if you could do well in the first three competition because at the first three competitions, um, the most crucial and I would say the easiest and the fairest in terms of all because um, when you do that, everybody has not complete 100% everybody doesn't really have uh, much uh, preparation work in the first competition especially so that's the opportunity for you to do well in competition is the first three subsequently, it may get harder, it may get easier, it depends on luck, who you're grouped with Alright, although I'm not actively playing in this last competition, uh, inevitably we got to be reliable up uh, to 389 already. Very soon it'll be 390, and we just got 10 more levels to go before we transfer to the new region. Uh, that is something I really want to pull back to, uh, if possible, but it seems uh, quite difficult. Most probably um, after this event, I may not be playing at all. It depends what's come next in terms of the rewards. If it's just about parts and parts that I don't really cherish, then probably I won't be playing. Or if let's say it's about a container, then let's see how. Uh, but that's it. I'm trying to delay it because I do not want to start in a new event with a new region and with limited trains. It's really suffering. Uh, but you got to go through that. But I really want to test it out the event trains only. But unfortunately, uh, progression isn't as fast as possible as we wanted so we can't test it out at the end of this event but I'll try to do it probably by holding back by not playing all the mini events at, at the start of the uh, new event then I'll just go ahead and play it but that would also mean um, I wouldn't be able to make uh, daily videos on train station 2 anymore if I decided to do that way which means I'm going to hold back playing train station 2 for probably a couple of days before the start of the new event and uh, once this new event starts then I'll be able to do a video to show you again but let's see how things work out alright so now um, at this juncture I'm still holding back that 100% completion and you know what uh, later on I'm going to show you um, the torch a flame <laughs> that goes alive so um, at this juncture um, quantities are still high of course but still uh, a bit slow in terms of progress um, of course uh, if you compare to people that are at a higher ranking you got to really realize who they are uh, like I said earlier late uh, players that aren't really act inactive in the earlier competitions uh, people who jams a lot so these are the people uh, unfortunately they are in my team uh, a lot of them <laughs> alright very soon uh, I'm gonna show you the happy moment whereby we claim that legendary train using those 4000 uh, keys itself so far so good uh, we claim that 1000 coins um, legendary as well um, which is the uh, bullet train the Shinkansen alright so you can see here uh, ranking has been dropping um, but expected to drop even further because I'm holding on to jobs that is really at the third round at a very early stage quantities are with high but the re EP returns is really small so that's the problem with uh, the fact that you enter into the third uh, round of competitions um, so uh, don't really expect to do uh, top 5, probably top 10, you'll be happy uh, but that's the reason it bother me, uh, probably I'm just aiming for another uh, mega box and that's about it alright, so now of course I'll share with you the most happy moment, see it. Alright, we have claimed the Warata Series 2, another legendary electric train, looking fantastic there. Alright, um, this has been a moment, waiting for to complete 100%. You can see here, even you click on that, there's no additional job being generated. So, uh, only the fact that you see this.
for watching. Do like and subscribe and good luck for your competition. Goodbye.